Hello and welcome back to my channel. This Christmas tree cupcake pull apart cake is actually really simple and quick to make and looks really cute on your table. I'm going to make the star first because I want that to have a little time to dry and harden overnight. You can find my fondant recipes on my website at customcakesandcupcakes.com. To get this gold fondant color, I need a little bit of my regular and chocolate fondant together and add a little yellow before dusting it with this gold edible luster dust. I'm going to be using two different shades of green in my buttercream, Chef Master Leaf Green and Chef Master Forest Green, and loading them together in the piping bag with a 1M tip to pipe my cupcakes. You can of course just stick to one shade of green or whatever color you're going to use, but I found using two shades together gives it a cool shadowy dimensional look. And since I want these to mix or blend a little bit in the bag, I'm just going to add them in the piping bag together just like this. I also made some chocolate buttercream frosting with a little Chef Master Buckeye Brown to darken the color and I'm going to be filling a piping bag with a small open star tip. This is a number 21. We'll start by piping green rosettes on all but one of the cupcakes. To do this, take your 1M tip, squeeze and anchor the buttercream to the center of the cupcake then maintain medium even pressure and spiral around till the cupcake is covered, gradually releasing and pulling away at the end. This is my vanilla buttercream frosting which you can find on my website as well as my newest cupcake recipe you can see here, my gingerbread cake and cupcake recipe. This design only needed 11 cupcakes but I did bake a dozen so I frosted one extra one just in case. After frosting the 11 green rosettes, I'm going to use the tip 21 with the brown chocolate buttercream to just frost some big zigzags on this last cupcake as this will be the tree stump. I'm making one more piping bag here. I'm using a tip 199. It's another small open star tip. I'm going to be loading the different shades of green just like the first one with the 1M tip. This tip is going to be used to anchor the cupcakes to the board as well as fill in some gaps in the tree. This is a large reusable acrylic board from Cake Safe, but you can certainly also use a big plate or platter or cake board or anything that will fit the shape of the tree. I'm adding a crumpled up cupcake liner in between some of the cupcakes where the gap seems a little bit bigger. This helps hold the buttercream up so it doesn't fall through when we fill in the gaps as you'll see later in the design. I like to use cupcake liners versus just plain tissue paper because I know they're food safe. And I'm just squeezing a dot of buttercream under each cupcake I'm going to place. You can certainly make this tree as big as you like, bake some more cupcakes and make a bigger tree. And then lastly here is our little tree stump. I'm going back to the 1M tip, which is what we used to pipe our cupcakes originally, and filling in the big gaps with some smaller rosettes. Use the same concept as when you pipe the cupcakes. Start in the center, hold with medium pressure, and spiral around till the gap is covered. For smaller gaps and to add some different texture, I'm using the tip 199 and just piping little tiny drop stars. To pipe these, squeeze with medium pressure, release, and then pull away. Then I'm switching once more back to my tip 21 with the brown or chocolate buttercream and just adding a little more bark or nuts in the stump here. Once you feel all the gaps in the tree are filled, you can move on to decorating. I'm going to lightly dust the tree with a little edible glitter from Sweets and Treats Boutique. This color is called Juniper. I'm just putting it on a little fluffy brush and tapping the brush above my tree to give it a little sparkle. My 
My color inspiration for the buttercream came from the Sprinkle Mix by Sweets and Treats Boutique called Tree Farm. It has a really cute mix of the forest green and the brighter leaf green as well as some gold and silver as well. And we're just going to add this all over the tree. I also wanted to add some cranberry style garland to my tree. This step is also totally optional. It's totally up to you how you want to decorate your tree. But I'm going to be using the silicone mold coated with Crisco or shortening to help the fondant release. I had colored some fondant red previously and I'm going to pop this into the mold, press it in so it takes up the shape and then I'll carefully pull this out and use it as garland for my cake. Once again, you can find my fondant recipes both here on my channel and on my website at customcakesandcupcakes.com. And then we will finish decorating our tree with the fondant decorations we made. I started with the star, then added the garland as well. And here's how it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments and how you would decorate your tree. Thanks so much for watching.